Hi, it's Bob from HeatCooksForMe.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're doing a very special meal. This is one we save for our special occasions. We're actually cooking this for New Year's Eve. Uh, this is a full beef tenderloin with a cognac cream sauce. And we can make the cream sauce actually a day ahead of time. So today we're prepping for our dinner tomorrow. The start of this dish is a tenderloin roast. This is about a four pounder and we're cooking for four people. Um, but I wouldn't go any smaller. This will give you some leftovers on that tenderloin roast. Plus it gives you a chance to cut off some of this fat that you don't want to serve out with it. It just cooks better than if you go a really small roast. To make the sauce, we're going to use a half a stick of butter, a half a cup of chopped shallots, two teaspoons of brown sugar, a can of chicken broth, which is two cups, a half a can of beef broth, which is one cup, but we'll keep the extra cup of beef broth because we'll use it to thicken the sauce uh, with cornstarch and also to uh, reheat it tomorrow when we're ready to use it. This is uh, brandy or cognac, you need one cup of that and a half a cup of whipping cream. When we actually make the recipe and serve it, we'll use chives as a garnish over the top. So I've melted two tablespoons of butter in here and now I'm going to add half a cup of shallots and we're just going to saute these until they are tender. It's probably going to take about four minutes in that butter. Our shallots are now tender so I'm going to put in the two teaspoons of brown sugar and just stir that in and we'll cook that for about one minute. So it's been a minute now on that brown sugar so we're going to add the two cups of chicken stock about one cup of the beef stock or beef broth and then we'll save the remaining to help thicken this and then also help to reconstitute tomorrow and then this is the one cup of brandy or cognac. Now we'll simmer all of that sauce until it gets down to where it's maybe a cup or cup and a half left in there. That's going to take 20, 25, 30 minutes to get down that far. This is a nice simmer going in the pan uh, with all of our broths and the brandy or cognac and it's starting to work its way down. We're about 10 minutes in, maybe 10, 15 more minutes to go. You can see how far this is cooked down and uh, reduced. So we're gonna take it off the heat tonight and we'll just mix in our cream sauce real quick and then put it in the fridge. Now I've taken this off the heat, so I'm gonna add my cream sauce in. You wanna keep stirring it just to make sure that your uh, cream doesn't curdle. Now that we've added the cream, we're going to put it back on the heat just a little bit and thicken it with some cornstarch and the beef stock. To thicken this, we're going to use a half a cup of that leftover beef broth that we had and put in about two, two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And then we'll whisk that together really well. And then we, we're bringing that uh, cognac sauce back to heat. You want to put this in when it's, it's simmering pretty good. You don't want it to be a boil because of the cream in there. But you want it to simmer pretty good because the heat is actually what activates the cornstarch and makes it thicker. Our cream's heated back up. And this is that beef stock and cornstarch mix mixture. I'm going to start with just about using half of it just to see where we go. You want to whisk it in really good as you're pouring it in so it doesn't clump at all. And then you just want to watch and see how it heats up or thickens up. This is going to take a little bit more than what I put in. We brought this back to a simmer with that cornstarch that we added. It's still a little bit thin so we're going to end up using the rest of that cornstarch mixture that we, we mixed up and this should be plenty to thicken it. So we will just uh, finish this off, put it in the fridge tonight, and then figure out what we need to do, whether we need to thicken it more or whether we need to thin it out a little bit to use tomorrow. To cook the beef tenderloin, we're melting butter and uh, pretty high heat. We have just put salt and pepper on the edge of the roast and we'll go ahead and put it down in there. We want just a brown layer around it and once it's browned all the way around, we'll put it into the oven. So we're getting done on the bottom as well. I'm going to put our meat thermometer probe in. To do that, you want it to end up in the middle of the meat. So I just kind of measure it out with my fingers and then push it in to that point where it's going to be in there. And we'll go ahead and transfer this to the oven. So we reached 120 degrees on our tenderloin roast. There's still some of the, the red blood coming out of it and that's great because it's medium rare to rare. It'll continue to cook here 
uh, as we let it sit, we're going to let it sit for 25-30 minutes. And while we're doing that, we're going to cook our side dishes. This might look familiar if you've been following along. And we're going to do some bread with it as well. While our asparagus is cooking, we're also going to start warming our cognac sauce that we made last night. So the roast, we're just going to slice into about half inch slices. And it should be a nice medium rare to rare. Wow. So to serve this, it's a one slice of that tenderloin. And this is that cognac sauce we made last night. Just reheat it up. We'll put that over the top. And then we're going to garnish with some fresh chives. So this is our final presentation for tonight. This is a tenderloin with a cognac sauce and the chives over the top. This is a wild rice mushroom hot dish and a breadstick, a garlic breadstick with uh, the prosciutto wrapped asparagus. And we're going to have this with a cabernet tonight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider hitting that red subscribe button. It really helps if you can share my videos with friends and family that might be interested, or watch some of the other videos on my channel. I hope this dish, or one of my other featured dishes, finds its way into your kitchen soon.